speaking with Aaron Sabatini, registrar here at the NRA Museums. Welcome back to Curator's Corner, Aaron. It's been a while. It's been a while. Good to see you. And we're doing a kind of a all dressed in black thing from your your blazer to your gloves to your firearms. To my firearms. Perfectly yes. matching. To tell us what do we have today on Curator's Corner? Today I have brought you a couple of Lignos 25 ACP pistols. Uh, very simple, very small pistols. <laughs> Manufactured in 1912, we don't know when they were when they stopped manufacturing, but we imagine 25 ACP doesn't have a lot of stopping power, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, not great for war. So yeah, so manufactured where? In Germany. Germany. So they both at Bergman and then later Lignos. Uh, most of them manufactured at Lignos, Bergman only for a little while. So these are both Lignos pistols. Uh, as you can tell, the grips on the side say Lignos. Right. The earlier ones will say Bergman. And the two that we have today, so same gun, two different models, two different time periods. So the first one you have here is the 2A. So the 2A is the pocket version of it. And it is quite tiny, uh, yeah. it barely fits in my hand, six rounds. And the really fascinating thing about this is the cocking mechanism. It is called an Einhand, which if your German's up to par, that means one hand. And it can legitimately be fired with one hand. Cool. The cocking mechanism is integral to the trigger guard, and that was a development by Vytold Chelewski. I probably butchered that, but <laughs> German man. Clever German he <laughs> yes, was. Yes, very clever German. So the 2A, like I said, is smaller, smaller rounds, or sorry, fewer rounds, and it's an earlier model, which I'll show you later. Um, the mechanism is actually made out of brass in the earliest ones that they made. Later you go over to the 3A, this one's much larger, much easier to hold, and it has nine rounds, and the mechanism is now steel. So caliber's the same, mm -hmm. 25 bigger ACP. just frame, and obviously bigger capacity yes. with the six versus the nine, and, and it, you, as you said, probably a little easier to handle. That yes. is a very small, the 2A is a very small frame yeah, I don't for have, anyone's hand. Yeah. I, yeah. I, my pinky can't even fit on yeah, it, it's so. that small. So tell folks, Aaron, you know, we, we throw around terms a lot, and I like to take some time to break it down a little bit on Carrier's Corner. When you say 25 ACP, what does ACP mean? Now, I, I think no I know, <laughs> but do I? I think I could be wrong. What does that mean? I don't know. Really? Okay, see, there's a good question. We're going to have to find out. I thought it meant like automatic Colt pistol, uh, ACP is, but it's like a term you hear a lot with different kind of calibers and rounds, and I think with semi-autos, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out. So does this have the same, the same mechanism to, for the, the one-handed cocking mm -hmm. mechanism Both as the other one does? Yeah. yeah, so it's exactly the same. So if we remove that, and I can show you another oh, feature. Look at that. So you literally hold it like this. Oh, man. It's unloaded, I promise. Yes. So that, and it also has this indicator at the very back. It's this tiny brass nub, and it says, okay, this is ready to go. So at that point, it's unloaded, and then it goes away. And that one does the exact same thing. But yeah, one-handed, Einhand. Very clever. <laughs> so. German. Wow, so what kind of numbers about, you know, did, did these, were they manufactured since starting when? 1912. 1912. We don't know how long they actually ran for, but was it popular or was it, were there, you know, lots of them out there? I don't know how popular it was. I don't think there are a ton out there, but they also now don't sell for that much. So I don't think they're a particularly sought after firearm. Really? As they're I don't know. not that powerful. Yeah, they're very they're cute, kinda, but they're kind of cool, you know. No, I agree. It's my yeah. favorite in the museum. Yeah, so you know, with a farm like this, just in general of this age, it's a neat farm, and you said not that hard to get or too expensive. Is is it something that you would just want to get to to collect, or is that something at that age that you go out and fire? As I think well? you could still use it. It's a very, it's an incredibly simple to take it apart. It's not that many working parts. It's, right. Strong mechanisms, and, steel construction, at least this one is. Right, and safety and durability, because I always ask this of, of you guys, like if you have a firearm, and obviously if it's like the Mayflower gun, you're probably not going to be taking it nope. down and putting rounds down range <laughs> no, with no, it. No, no. But for something like this, it's kind of cool. Yeah. It's like having a classic car. You know, you you want to be able to get to drive it, you know, as well as to, to some of these be neat to get on the range and, and fire them. So they're pretty easy to find and and pretty neat design. Very clever with the uh, the one-handed cocking device. I love it. Thank you so much for coming back mm -hmm. on Curator's right. Corner. Thanks for sharing these cool little German pistols. I love the Germans. They're very, very clever in what they do. And what's the website for folks who can't get here to see it? How can they see it online? You can find us at nramuseums.org. Aaron Sabatini, registrar here at the NRA Museums. Thanks for being on Curator's Corner. Mm -hmm.